in this bitch, motherfucker. Yeah, it's me. Space Ghost Purse. What's good? That's right. It's me. Back again as always. And, uh... Yesterday I went to my comic book store, picked up uh, three weeks worth of books since I haven't been there in three weeks because it's been busy as hell, been working a lot, picking up shifts, went out of town to Memphis for a week to spend the uh, holidays with my girl's family, hope everyone's holidays were well, hope everyone had a happy new year, I hope uh, these last four or five days have been good for you, last four days have been good for everybody, um... So, make a real quick video. Um, ASAP Rock in the background, new album, not quite out yet, but I got a little leaky leak, so I got it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show off my books real quick, and uh, that'll be it for this video. Um, I'm not gonna promise any more videos because every time I seem to make a promise. Something falls through and I don't get to make a video, so no more promises coming your way. I'll do it when I get to. And um, if you're offended that I don't make videos as often as I used to, or don't comment on y'all's stuff, or don't send y'all messages, or reply as fast as possible, that's life because I can't sit on my computer all day. And if you get offended, that's on you. Just saying. Uh, books that I have got that I picked up. If you aren't picking up these first few books, you're slacking. Uh, Colder, number three. Such a fucking good series. Um, this did not disappoint. And I'm excited to see what else comes. I think there's two more. Yeah, it's three of five. So there's two more to come. So good. Um, I actually just finished reading Lot 13, number three of five as well. Holy shit. This is one of these books where you just keep turning the pages and turning the pages and turning the pages. And it's like you just don't want to stop reading and it grabs your attention and pulls you in. And I got to the very last page of this and I was like, holy shit. They did what they thought, you know, whatever. If you're reading the book, they did something that you don't think they're going to do. And it's fucking gory and it's fucking awesome. And there's fucking dead people everywhere and blood and guts and just fucking craziness. So, if you like scary shit, if you like uh, goblins and ghosts and blood and guts, go fucking pick this book up. Lot 13. Check it out. And, of course, it's done by Steve Niles. I don't. I have yet to read anything that he's done that I didn't like. So, if you like Steve Niles, you're definitely going to like that as well. Um, also picked up the new Avengers. I have not read it yet, but I got the uh, Scotty Young baby variant cover. Always funny as hell. Interested to see what happens in this. Um, hopefully it'll be good. I am making a list of 30 titles that I'm going to keep picking up a month. Anything over 30 titles are not picking up. Um, so I'm trying to narrow it down. Because I pick up a hell of a lot of titles a month. And um, there's so many damn Marvel Now titles. I think I'm going to drop quite a few of them. And just stick to what I really, really like. Not stuff that's just like, eh, mediocre. Um, I got a challenge for you guys. If uh, you, you purchase tons of titles. And, um, you know, if you, you've had to do it in the past where money's kind of tight. And you've had to um, just narrow it down to a few titles a month. Uh, share with me what titles you guys are picking up currently. Um, or, you know, if you guys make videos like I do, I'll just look through your videos and stuff. Um, but Marvel Now titles that are must pickups, let me know. Um, I mean, I've got all number one issues that have come out so far, and I've read them. Um, all new X-Men's been really, really great. Iron Man I've actually liked quite a bit. The, the interiors of Iron Man are amazing. The colors are so good. Um, Captain America I haven't really liked too much, but I'm still gonna, I'm gonna go along with it and give it a, a little bit longer of a chance, maybe issue four or five, and it's still not good, then I might drop it. Um... Indestructible Hulk, Mark Wade. Still no problems with this. This is definitely one I'm keeping. Um, such a great story. Uh, if you haven't been reading it, I highly suggest you pick it up. Um, in this, there's a really, really great fight between Iron Man and the Hulk um, on a huge ice mountain. Um, Banner takes him and it's basically like, look, like you haven't treated me as an equal all these years. 
and normally I would pent up my anger and I would just let it go, but now you're fucking mine and I got you where I want you. And uh, very, very interesting story. Um, basically, the Hulk or Banner is now working for Shield. Um, they get to use the Hulk um, at their discretion as a cannon or like you know a bomb. They get to just drop him wherever they want, and he destroys everything. But in return, he gets um, his own science lab and basically um, as much money as he needs to become a great scientist because he's tired of just trying to find the cure for the Hulk. Now he's like, you know what? I'll use it for good. I will redeem myself, and um, now I have the uh, opportunity to leave my legacy as a great uh, scientist. So it's really, really good so far, issue two, and I'm um, definitely looking forward to see what Mark Wade has in store for this title. Also picked up, motherfucker, Captain America number two. Iron Man number five, like I was saying, the interiors of this are fucking amazing. Have read number five yet, so I can't give quite a, a little uh, review on it yet. Flash number fifteen. Batman Incorporated number six. Love this cover. For the love of their son. This is one that I bought and I really, really like a lot. Uh, it's a number one and it is Morbi uh, Mor Morbius, the uh, living vampire. And of course, if you've been keeping up with Spider-Man, um, you know that he got out. I believe it was uh, 691.1 was basically the backstory. And uh, I really like the way it was written. I really like how choppy it was. Uh, I'm not going to take it out, but uh, if you read it, you know what I'm talking about, how like it'll have a story and then it'll have like um, a bar just saying something that has to do with the next part of the story and then it'll go on from there. Uh, but I really like the way it was written and the way it was laid out. I highly suggest you go pick it up if you haven't or if you were on, you know, on uh, the cusp. And the next two I got are uh, Amazing Spider-Man 700 took me forever to finally get a hold of these because I know they came out last week, the day after Christmas. I was in Memphis and I didn't really want to go to a comic book store there, especially knowing that my normal comic book store was holding them for me. So I picked up this variant cover. Also, this variant cover. And, um... Wow, the way they ended it, I think I was equally pissed as I was uh, shocked. And that's because, you know, the rumors that I had heard definitely weren't what I read. Which I'm happy about, because, you know, it left a twist at the end that I wasn't expecting. And, um, holy shit. Uh, if you haven't read it yet, skip forward uh, 30 seconds. Go. Spider-Man 700. What the fuck? How the fuck? Is Doc Ock now going to be Spider-Man? That's some crazy shit. So I'm definitely interested to see. Um, with great responsibility comes... Oh, you know. It's Spider-Man. If you don't know that line, then you don't know comics. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Shit, it's been 30 seconds. I can't say anything more about it, but I already gave the spoiler. If you haven't... If you've already read it... You already know what I'm talking about. Holy shit. I don't know how that's going to come about. And, um... It's going to be interesting. Definitely, definitely interested to see, uh... Superior Spider-Man. And, um... If he keeps his word that he gave to Peter Parker. So we'll see. Enough about that. Because I don't know how many of you all have read it. Um... It's only been a week, so I'm sure a lot of you haven't read it. Um... So, on to the next one. Talon number three. With great power comes great responsibility. Yes, I fucked that up on purpose. Seeing how many of you are paying attention to my videos. Uh, Daredevil End of Days, number four of eight. Great story so far. Uh, 
Justice League Dark, number 15. Uh, Teen Titans, number 15, tie-in of Death of the Family. Daredevil, number 21, one of my all-time favorite uh, runs of Daredevil. Mark Wade is just a damn genius. He really is. Aquaman. Number 15, another great title from DC. Uh, Red Hood Outlaws, tie in Death of Family. Um, Nightwing, Death of the Family again, tie in. Whoops. And this is uh, Cable and X-Force. Number two. Man, my hands, I don't the fuck, I can't hold on to anything. Apparently. Butterfingers over here. Thunderbolts number two. Interested to see uh, Venom and Red Hulk go at it. Awesome fucking cover. Thor, God of Thunder. Jason Aaron writing it, of course. Number three. Such. This is probably. Next to uh, All New X Men. This is probably the next best uh, well written story so far of um, Marvel Now. Green Lantern. Number 15. Sorry they're not in order. Marvel, DC, Independent. I just. I'm just going with whatever comes at me first. Um, happy. Number three of four. This is almost over. One more month. And uh, from what I've been hearing, it's already um, in the talks or in the works of becoming a uh, TV show or a movie. So that should be interesting. And last but certainly not least, one of my favorite books out. Oh, wait a minute. I dropped a book. Hold up. Not last. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Sorry about that. Going on a roller coaster ride, apparently. Going on a roller coaster ride. Um, also, I picked up issue number five of Harvest. Now, certainly, last but not least, a book that everyone's been picking up. And of course, it's written by uh, Brian K. Vaughn, who has done amazing work. And, um,. That is number eight of the legendary saga. Such a great story so far. And um, Fiona Staples on the artwork, of course. She left for just a little bit for Daredevil. And came right back, busting out some more saga. So if you haven't been checking this out, I know, um, I believe it's the first six are in a trade for like ten bucks. And then, you know... There's only been two more since then, so highly suggest you go out, pick this up. I know um, at my at my comic book store that I go to, a lot of kids don't even read comics that normally just play like Magic the Gathering type of stuff or uh, WoW or whatever the card games are. I'm not sh sorry, if, I don't mean to offend anybody. I just don't know anything about them because I don't play them. But um, I know a lot of the kids that normally don't read comics pick this book up because it's just so damn good. It's just a, such a good story. And uh, the artwork inside is beautiful. And uh, it's definitely not for young children, but for people that are my age, maybe a little younger and definitely older, it's definitely a great story to check out. So that's my haul for the last three weeks. 
Um, I hope to never have to go three weeks without buying comics again, because that shit sucks. Um, so now I just have a lot of reading to catch up on. I've read like ten titles so far, and I've got a shit ton more, so... Um, that's what I'm going to be doing for like, probably the rest of today, and then I work all weekend, so... Um, if I can get a review up, I'll do a review, but I did a review on a couple books already, just in this video, but, um, you know, if I can get another review up, I will, if not, my next video, I guess, will be my haul video, um, so, like I said, I hope everyone had a happy new year, everyone had a great holiday, and, uh, for those who have the weekend off, it's Friday, so you guys should be pretty stoked about that, uh, my Cowboys didn't make it to the playoffs, because Ro Tony Romo is a fucking idiot, and, um, as a Cowboy fan, I feel like we fucking deserve better. So fuck Tony Romo. That shit really pissed me the fuck off. Uh, normally, you know, I'd have his back and say, you know, eh, he's alright. He's got a lot of potential. Most of the time, he has to carry the whole team on his back. But, um, when you fuck up that bad in such a big game, you deserve to get shit on. So fuck Tony Romo right now. That's how I feel about that. Uh, as for the Redskins, they're playing, uh, Seahawks this weekend. And they're going to get fucking destroyed, which I'm stoked about. Uh, RG3, you know, is their new quarterback for this season. And um, I, he's like the first quarterback from from the Redskins that I fully respect. Just because he's cool and, you know, he's a great he's a great athlete. Uh, if he was playing for the Cowboys, I'd be stoked. But since he's a Redskins player, I still got a little bit of hate toward him because I'm a Cowboys fan. So, And, of course, I got to wrap my Bruins stuff. But we got the fucking lockout going on, so nothing happened in there. My Red Sox, they ain't shit lately. The last few seasons, they ain't shit. So, that's sports talk for some reason. I don't know why that just randomly came up. Um, so, yeah, I'll be chatting with y'all. If y'all want to hit me up, I know I've been talking to Dacosta DC quite a bit over Facebook. And uh, Hippies Collectibles, I've talked to you recently. I haven't really talked to anybody else off the community lately. Um... But feel free to hit me up Instagram. My username is Satan X Lives. Hit me up on Twitter. Find me on Facebook, Gary Lane. It's real easy to get in contact with me if uh, you want to make that effort. If not, that's cool too. And uh, I'll be chatting with y'all. Have a good weekend. Stay safe. Be good to one another. I'll catch you on the flip flop.